All right, folks, let's bring in SureBet CEO Rob Luna. Rob, uh, you, you've been bullish for some time. Uh, some of your more recent ideas I've noticed pop pretty nicely. Are you trimming them or are you still buying? Yeah, Charles, I'm, I'm not trimming because I'm a longer term investor. I'm looking out 12 to 24 months. And so while you've seen big moves from the bottom, I still think there's a long way to go if that's your time frame. That being said, if you're trading, you're looking for short term profits. We saw the RSI turn down last week. That was probably your signal to take some profits. So it really depends on where you're at. But look, I think Jim made a lot of great points. I'm very much in his camp to where I think we're getting towards that end of the tightening cycle. And this is not a market you want to be out of right now. Well, let me ask you the, the same question, but in a different way, Rob. So what would make you uh, less bullish, right? I mean, it, we come to Jackson Hole, and it's the moment of truth. Jay Powell wants to prove that he's a, the embodiment of Volcker. And they goes, you know, and he hints, say, we're going to go 75, 100. We, and we ain't getting off it. Like, as much as the market doesn't believe it, we are going to stay hawkish through 2023. Would that be a signal maybe to take some chips off the table? Yeah, I mean, look, everything's predicated on that 10-year, and the 10-year now being below three is super accommodative for stocks. So one thing that the Fed likes is the PCE indicator. We're going to see that coming out next Friday. We've got the summit that's going to be Friday through Saturday. I'm going to be listening closely to that. 4,200 is your line in the sand. Right now, Charles, if we break below that and we're getting a more hawkish Fed coming out of there, I do think we could see 10 to 15 percent on the downside. That being said, I do believe, and if you look at where they're pricing it in, they're actually looking at the Fed starting to cut in the second quarter of next year. So to Luke's point, you don't want to be all out of this market. If you want to have a little bit of cash on the sidelines, I'm not going to be mad at you with that. But trust me, Charles, if you're trying to time this market, staying out on the sidelines, these markets are vicious. Look, the Nasdaq's rallied 24 percent from the bottom. You could say we're in a new bull market there. Who knows, Charles? Yeah, yeah technically. Uh, hey, Rob, I can't let you go without a couple of new ideas. Yeah, I mean, one of the areas I'm looking at right now to whatever what everyone's talking about, we're, we're in a little bit of a dangerous position right here. So go to the companies that are paying dividends. Go to the companies that have tremendous pipelines. One stock that I um, started dabbling in, two, two actually, uh, AbV and Gilead. Those are two stocks I think that you can buy right here, irrespective of what goes on with the economy. You're getting paid 4% plus. They're both growing their dividend. Those are two safe havens, I think, for investors right now. Yeah, I've always been an AbV fan myself.